Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to turn your uh, ordinary self-portrait like this one, this is mine, uh, into this uh, vector graphics using Illustrator. So the, tab, uh, the tip is uh, when you take your photo, uh, it would be nicer to have the high contrast level like mine. So try to use the, just one light source then it will be more effective as a vector graphics like this. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is my selfie uh, taken uh, when I visited in Korea. Uh, so uh, before we export into um, the Illustrator file, I'm going to crop it into the size of um, eight and a half inch by 11 inch. Please make sure you type the um, the unit. Okay. So and the 72 DPI. Okay. So it depends on the size you are looking for. So, but um, this is the size we're going to use. Okay. And save as JPEG file. Okay. And then open new Illustrator file, uh, the size of uh, 8 and a half by 11, the letter size paper, and then let me import the place, go to file, import uh, place, and this is my selfie, and let me just place it. Uh, I'm using just the letter size uh, image because um, if I use the um, the much bigger size image, like a two feet by three feet or something larger than that, uh, it will do, but it will take too long, uh, too much time to calculate it. So um, that's why we are using kind of a, a relatively small file size image. Okay, so once you open it, place your image, then uh, go to Windows menu and open Properties panel. Properties. Uh, I placed in my toolbar here. Make sure you are still your image is selected, and then scroll down, and you're gonna see that image trace. This image trace used to be under object menu in Illustrator, but they change it. I think it works better. So image trace. So there are several options. So let me try this first one. And it will start calculating, uh, vectorizing the all the pixel-based images into vector graphics. So it looks the same, but once you zoom in, you will see that, see, it's all vector now. Okay. So, but I think this is kind of a too much. So what I'm going to do is let me undo it, Command Z. And let me apply again, six colors. So it's up to you. You can use the three colors, 16 colors, or black and white. Just play around with it. And then it's pretty fun. Let me try this, six colors. Okay, so this is what I have. Okay, but I'm still, they are all kind of grouped. Let me zoom in, see how it looks like. See, there is no pixel. It's all vector now. But um, uh, I want to delete certain portion, um, like they're kind of some background images, and I want to change my color. But um, since these are all grouped together, so you can't select it uh, section by section. So Go to object menu and choose expand. And check object and the fill checkbox and OK. See? Release it. And then by using this the direct selection tool, white arrow, you can select piece by piece. So I'm going to get rid of all of them. I don't want them. But some issues we have, it depends on your photo. As you can see that, I want to delete just this kind of black lines. But what happened is, it's all grouped together. It's a kind of one shaped. So I want to cut somewhere here. So let me zoom in. And let me use my eraser tool. And let me erase this portion like this. I'm going to do the same thing up here too like this 
Okay, then I can delete it. Oops, sorry, not you. I can delete it. I can delete this. Let me zoom out. Okay. And delete, delete. Okay, so now I can get rid of all the background images that I don't want to keep. there maybe a little more okay I'm I'm happy with this okay so I have my uh, myself selfie uh, all vectorized and then um, um, <clears throat> but I still want to do something a little more I may want to change the color and I may have kind of a little bit brightness, so um, uh, different brightness. So let me select that portion and this one, and then uh, open my color palette. I want to make it a little bit darker, maybe a little more. Okay. If you want to change your cloth color, you uh, maybe still you can do that, maybe a red or a different color as well, and also. I want to change this color as well as kind of uh, this. Okay, so um, it looks good. And the next step is, uh, let me show you this, uh, my uh, finished version. That is this. Okay, that's a little bit different color. So this is what I have for now. What I'm going to do is, I want to change this color, not this orange. Let me make it a little bit more yellowish. Yep, okay. So as you can see from uh, my uh, the finished version, like this one, uh, I have kind of uh, two different background color rectangle behind, and then um, some of my uh, favorite uh, words, passion, patience, and practice. I believe those are kind of three words starting with the P uh, for the successful life and the successful um, the um, kind of a, anything in your life. So those are my favorite words: passion, patience, and practice, and my name. So let me go back. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new layer on the very bottom. Okay, and let me lock this top layer so I can secure uh, my selfie. Okay, then let me draw one rectangle, kind of almost half, and then let me make a copy of this right next to it. Somewhere here, I'm gonna choo uh, choose choose yeah, the bright red. Okay, so this is what I have, but um, I'm still okay. But I see that I'm losing kind of my uh, kind of a line, my face uh, kind of jaw line here, and then my neck as well. So what I'm gonna do is let me sample uh, the color by using the eyedropper tool of uh, this color, this bright one, and then let me use. Uh, and then set the color as your stroke color and let me choose my brush tool brush open brushes panel and let me open this window brush libraries and artistic and paintbrush and choose anything you like I think I chose this one let me try
Yeah, maybe it looks kind of too thick. Let me make it a little bit lighter. Okay, and here too. All right, so I'm okay with that. All right, so I have my um, background and my selfie vectorized. And then the uh, next thing is I'm going to add another new layer on the very top for the text. So first thing is, let me type my favorite words, uh, passion, patience, and practice. Uh, and then um, my typographic choice was Helvetica Bold. that and maybe um uh, in the same red no same yellow and let me rotate it maybe something like this okay so page uh, passion patience and practice and the last thing is my name so I'm gonna have my name let me show you uh, my uh, finished one like this okay so let me go back I think this color is darker than this one so uh, let me unlock my background and me make it a little bit darker like this red Oops. yep I think that looks better okay and the last one on the my text layer let me type my full name J O N G and in yellow. Same yellow. Rotate it, make it slightly bigger. I'm going to have it on that line. Let me zoom in. Maybe a little more somewhere here. Okay. All right. So this is my uh, vectorized poster. Uh, it may look like kind of a obey style, um, but um, this kind of a vector graphics is sometimes is more effective. It gives some kind of stronger messages than uh, ordinary photo. So uh, I hope that you may use it for your uh, some other uh, design project like a poster design or even web design or a page layout, anything. Alright, so thanks for watching and see you next time.